Hello everyone, I am Ashish Shukla from product management team. I am working in a meter solution and related applications in Oracle. Today I will show you how to do the configurations of dynamic aggregations for consumption analytics functionality in meter solutions. So dynamic aggregation consists of following consumption based analytics such as usage by network location, usage by region, usage by customer classification and unaccounted for losses. The configurations of all four dynamic aggregation with consumption analytics are common. So during the demonstration I will show you the configurations of usage by network location and usage by customer classification. Now let's go to the individual sections where we can see the detailed configurations with the help of demo application. First is service type which defines a specific type of services for which usage can be recorded and captured like electric, gas, water. So now let's move to the application. Go to admin menu, general and then service type. So these are the various service types we configured like electric, gas, water, wastewater. So now let's move to the deck again. The next one is the unit of measure which defines the quantities measured and recorded such as kilowatt, kilowatt hour, cubic feet, degrees, etc. So now let's move to the application. Go to the admin menu, rates and then unit of measure. So these are the various unit of measures we configured here. So like in KWH, here are the major components for KWH like service type that is electric, decimal positions allowed on measuring component, magnitude. Okay, now let's move to the deck again. The other section is the data sources which defines the source of data to be aggregated and the data will be extracted from a measuring component related to a user subscription through service point. So now let's move to the application, go to the admin menu, aggregation and then data source. So here we configured the data source for electric KWH, gas, CCF, cubic feet and the water. So here if you will see the electric data source then you can find that the status is active. These are the major components for those uh, data source. The business object is measurements for usage subscription service point. The status is active. Data source class that is measurements from usage subscription service points interval scalar so it's an interval so here the source measuring component type which is electric interval kws 60 minute so these are the major components for aggregation data source now let's move to the deck again the next one is the measuring component type which defines the important properties of measuring component so now let's move to the application go to the admin menu device and then measuring component type so here the measuring component class is aggregator. This is the main component of that particular measuring component type. So here if you will see the first one is electric interval aggregated KWH for 60 minutes interval for transformer load. So here this is for gas interval aggregation. This is for water interval aggregation. So now let's see the electric interval aggregation measuring component type. So here are the major components of electric interval aggregation measuring component. So the business object is the dynamic aggregator type. The measuring component class is aggregator. Service type electric. The interval size is every one over. Data source which we have already configured that is electric KWS 60 minutes transformer interval measurements. The value identifier that is your UOM kilowatt hour and the value calculated method which is sum for aggregation. And these are the other components for measuring component type. Okay, now let's move to the deck again. Now the next is the aggregation group which is used to define the ordering of a series of related aggregation. So now let's move to the application. Go to the admin menu, aggregation and then aggregation group. So here we have created four aggregation groups. First one is electric consumption profile class. 
another is electric dynamic consumption then third is gas loss and water loss so now let's see the aggregation group for electric consumption profile class so here are the major components for consumption profile class like status is finalized aggregation category is analytics the business object is aggregation group here is the aggregation schedule which is very important like your aggregation horizon aggregation lag so right now it's a 48 hours lag and the aggregation horizon is 24 hours and here are the aggregation measuring component sets which are automatically created once you run the batch so these are the major components for aggregation groups you can run the aggregation manually through add button or either you can run the batch okay now let's move to the deck again the next one is the measuring component sets which defines the dimension criteria by which aggregation will be performed against transaction data derived from measuring component type so now let's move to the application go to the admin menu aggregation and then measuring component sets Okay, so here we can select the aggregation category like consumption profile class. So here is a measuring component set page where we have a major components like status which is active, description that is consumption profile class interval, measuring component type, aggregation group, measuring component set class, business object. And the main thing is like the dimensions and criteria. So here is the dimensions, which is very important component of measuring component set. We need to configure those dimensions and criteria. So this ends all the required configurations. Okay, now let's do the demonstration to run this functionality. So we need to run the batches sequentially. First is D1 DS AEM, that is dimension scan and aggregation monitor batch process. And another one is D1 AMCS, that is aggregation by MC set monitor batch process. So here the D1 DS AEM batch will initiate processing for all aggregation groups and runs all monitor algorithms on each aggregation group. Okay, so now let's move to the application side. So before that, I will just show you that we don't have data for 2022. So let's see the data in the OUAV first. So here I will show you first the data of usage by network location. So currently we have a data for September 2021. We don't have a data for 2022. So if you will see here, the last data is for September 30th. Here if you will see the date range from 25th February 2021 till 25th Feb 2022. So the last data we have is 30th September 2021. See here, this is the 30th September 2021 data. Similarly for usage by customer classifications, OUAV. So here also I put the dates for 1st August 2021 till 21st Feb 2022. If you will see the profile charts also, you can see the last data is 30th September 2021. So I uploaded from January 1st till 25th of Feb 2022. Two months data, almost two months data I have uploaded for this demonstration. So now let's move to the application and we can run the batches. So the first batch is D1 DS AEM, which either we can run it through ad hoc basis or we can run it through schedule basis. So there's an option for manual run also, like for if you will go for aggregation group, then click on add button. You can manually run the batch D1 DS AEM or either you can go to main menu tools and then batch job submission. You can also run D1 DS AEM through batch control. So we have both the options. So let's run this through manually first. So during the manual, it will ask you the aggregation horizon start date and horizon end date. So my horizon start date is 31st December 2021 because I have uploaded the data from 1st January 2022 till 25th February 2022. So my horizon start date is 31st December 2021 till 27th Feb 2022 because our lagging time is 48 hours. So when you run the batch of D1 DS AEM, through schedule or through batch control, then the business date, you need to put it two days ahead as a business date. So the last data which you uploaded, you have to give two days leading time as a business date time because your lagging time is 48 hours. Now I'm clicking on save button. 
So this will take some time for completing as we have already run this batches earlier and our measuring component sets are already created. So similarly, I need to run for individual aggregation group for that particular batch control. So if you'll go to the batch control, So earlier I run for profile consumption and this time I need to run for transformer consumption. So here the business date I need to put it as a two days ahead of my reads upload. So it's a 27th Feb 2022. And my aggregation group is consumption transformer. So one I have run through manually and another one is I am running with batch control. Okay, now it's completed. So now let's move to the another batch that is D1 AMCS. So again, you have a two options to run the batch D1 AMCS. Either you can directly run the batch through batch control or either you can go to the measuring component set for individual measuring component set and then click on aggregate button. This aggregate button will directly redirect you the same D1 AMCS batch. So I just click on aggregate button for consumption profile class. So it will directly shift you through the batch control that is D1 AMCS. So here I will put my batch business date is 27th Feb 2022. And my reads are uploaded till 25th of Feb 2022 because the lagging time is 48 hours. These are the batch parameters and then run this batch. Okay, now it's completed. Now we need to run for electric dynamic consumption. The same process for consumption transformer as well, because as I told you that uh, I will show you the data for usage by network location and another is for usage by customer classification. So now this is for usage by network location. So here again, we have an option to click on aggregate button and it will directly redirect to the D1 AMCS batch. Here the batch business date is same that is 27th Feb 2022. And these are the parameters for that particular batch and this is for transformer consumption. Now the batch is complete. Now we can see the data first in the application. So I uploaded the data for two postal code which are double four seven zero seven and double four six three two so now let's move to the measuring component set and then measuring component so now see the measuring component set for consumption profile class interval so here we have a measuring components which are created so first we will see for double four seven zero seven and this is the facility id which i uploaded the data see here you can see the data for 2022 now. So earlier there is no data for 2022, but this time the data has been aggregated and created in the system. See the date range. So if we want to change the date from 1st of January 2022 till 25th of Feb 2022. So you can see the data has been aggregated and uploaded in the system. Similarly, we can also see the data for another postal code double four six three two here also now data has been aggregated and uploaded in the system so we can see the data from 1st January 2022 till 25th of Feb 2022 and see the data has been aggregated and uploaded in the system for postal code 44632. 
Similarly, we can also see the data for measuring component set consumption transformer. Here also we have a data for postal code 44707. So now this is for postal code 44707. We can see that aggregation has been done or not. So here we can also see that now the data has been aggregated and uploaded successfully for the month of January and February 2022. You can see the aggregated data. Similarly, we'll go for next postal code that is 44632. We can also verify this one. See here, now the data has been aggregated and uploaded successfully for the month of January and February 2022. Okay, uh, this ends this exercise. I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you very much.